So I have stepped outside and all of my chickens, there's my babies, they're coming too. You can see them by this tree. And my ducks, everybody has come over. Hi babies. Subie. Oh my goodness. Most of them, as you can see, most of them hang out right next to me. Oh my goodness. Hey baby girl. They do that weird cat thing where you reach over and then they like. Oh my goodness. You're all talking. They've been pooping on each other in the coop, so I kind of don't want to pet them. Shooby. I've also had an issue. My babies, you know, the four right there, they go up over here and they. Oh my, oh my goodness. Okay. Well, never mind. Every single one of those is full, but they'll come in this side, this last one, to sleep at night. Well, I'm not giving y'all treats while there's four girls in the box. See, oh, I don't guess I caught that on camera. So Bingo is really low on the totem pole. Goldie seems to be much lower than she used to be. Oh my goodness. I've noticed, especially on like the leghorns, if you can hear me over these guys. Oh my goodness, I bluey. He's so funny. But their crests, their waddles, whatever. Oh my goodness, Foghorn. Have kind of started turning, like, not not blue, but like they're darkening towards the end. Which is, I don't know if that's because they injure themselves or what. You'll see Sylvali. She's like dipping her head at Kirihi, the big boy. And I think that's their sign to make. Because like, you know, with chickens, the guys will dance up to the girls. But with the ducks... The girls seem to dance up to the guys. Also, you'll notice she's digging holes. She's picking up my robe. <laughs> but you'll notice that there are holes all over here now. And the ducks, like, if it's water, like, when I water them, you know, my water's over here. When I water them, they, you know, get their bills in the dirt. Ouch, you turd. They'll dig into the dirt and, like, make tiny, bunch of tiny little holes. Ow, baby, what you doing? Oh my goodness. I like my Plymouth Rocks. Hi, yes, hi, Bluey. So I was talking to an old guy who had chickens many years ago and for many years. Hi, babies. Come here. Oh my goodness. Freaking love these things. You're so beautiful. Hi. Okay, yes, hi, Bluey. I love you too. <laughs> but I was talking to an older, an older gentleman uh, who's not related to my family, but who's known my family for a long time. He used to have chickens, ducks, and geese, and that kind of stuff. And he had them for like 10 years or so. No, a little longer than that. But anyway, he had ducks for 10 years. He had everything else for a little longer. But I was talking to him about Bluey's weird behavior because I don't know why he like comes up at me. And Mabel does it too, you know. It's not just Bluey. Mabel, you sweet boy. Okay, yes. See, he like dances up at me. Uh, the older gentleman was telling me that this is, apparently, uh, Bluey thinks I'm a giant hen. I thought that was funny. I was like, oh, okay, so it's not aggressive behavior. It's just that he's, yes, I see you, baby. Bertha, you're chatting. She's been a lot friendlier lately. She does. She still doesn't want to be petted or loved or touched in any way, shape, or form. But she'll come up to you and she'll chat at you and... As long as you don't even think about reaching over to her, like don't think about it too hard, she'll stick close to you. You'll see that Gimby's right next to her. She's the same way. And then uh, Mabel and Maple are generally pretty close to each other. Maple is still not very friendly at all. I've noticed that a lot of the girls, like you'll see a spot on her back right here that's kind of picked a little bit. And I don't know whether they're picking at each other. Because her and Bertha both specifically have that... Um, I've noticed that some of them are losing some feathers. I don't know if they're stressed or if that's just because the wet, you know, the weather's getting colder. <sighs> Bluey. Just constantly, man. But anyway, you know, if I come out here, they're never far from me. Like, here's Bingo and Shuby. And so two Easter eggers and then my uh, Wyandotte. If I try to reach out to her, she'll fluff her neck up and get all, like, skittish as well. I don't think they're skittish by nature. I don't know why mine happens to be. The Plymouth Rocks obviously just walk up to me. Like they peck at my feet. They peck at my toes. They are up my ass basically. And I love every second of it. The babies don't come close to me while the big girls are here. Because they're, you know, right now they're the, lo the lowest. Um, 
they're at the very bottom of the pecking order. But, you know, if I go out to them, they all run up. They all want chest rubs. They all want lovin's. Bluey likes chest rubs. He's never far from it. He doesn't want to be picked up because I think he's, you know, that's just a rooster thing. It's like, don't touch me. Just look at me. Beautiful. I guess you are. And then that's that. But the babies really like being loved on. Just not when I have the grown-ups near me. Because, again, they get pecked. The ducks still don't really like being touched. My sons are working on that. Like, they keep catching them and holding them and loving on them. And, you know, gently, affectionately, not stressing them out. And I'm like, you know what? Bang ring, go for it. Because those guys need to be loved. If I can't pet my animals, or if I can't pet my pets, basically, I don't really... Oh, goodness. I don't particularly care for that. God. Bingo's skittish, but man, she's so cute. I love it when she's around. She screams at me like I accidentally opened the... You know, periodically throughout the day I go get eggs. Just because... The girls start laying at about, you know, generally I'll find an egg around seven and then it continues up until about three or so. You know, they go in different waves. But uh, I accidentally opened the box with Bingo and boy, she was unhappy. It was kind of funny though because she was like mid actually pushing the egg out. So like she arched her body all weird and I know baby girl. She arched her body all weird and then was like, all right, bye. I was like, oh, okay. And she has just, like, one loud, weird squawk when, you know, because the girls, some of the girls sing, like, the Plymouth Rocks, unsurprisingly, are very vocal. They're very loud when they've laid an egg. I don't have any Rhode Island Reds right here, but they do the same thing. And then the Leghorns are also really loud. So those are the three that make the most noise for the longest. Bingo just kind of gives, like, this death squawk. Not all of them sing, though. Bertha... So these three are Easter eggers right next to each other. And just, it's funny to watch how they grew up. You know, when they were little, they were all kind of the same color. But now Bingo's orange. Bertha's like brown and black. And then, you know, uh, I don't even know what Backlund is. She's all sorts of colors. Pretty girls. Yep, if I go anywhere in the yard, they're with me. We have a spot of grass that's way taller back there just because the ducks and the chicks like to play in it. But uh, no matter where I go, they're following me. I don't know if that caught on camera, but the little girls have started to establish their pecking order as well. Oop. Yeah, Bluey, she just doesn't want to be mounted lately. Like she's... The Wyandots are um, their own birds, I guess is the nice way to say it. Uh, he picks on Goldie a lot. And like I said, Goldie's been kind of... She's kind of aloof lately. But yeah, some girls are getting... Oh, there we go. You'll notice that one... Uh, let's see, that one is Wanda. She was laying down. And the girls, like, lay completely flat and straight. And then they'll kind of, like, bob their head at the boys. I find that interesting. Oh, yep. And Shuby's, like, underneath my robe. Hi, pretty girl. What are you doing? Yeah, so she doesn't know any boundaries, like, at all. I'm pretty sure I could get, like, they have harnesses for chickens. I've really considered it with Bingo because she's, like, so freaking sweet. She's such a good girl. I don't think the Plymouth Rocks would deal with that. They'd be like, no. And Goldie, like I said, let's see if she'll do it. Well, no, she let me pet her. Okay. Yeah, she hasn't been letting me at all. Because, again, I don't know why. I think she's, you know, they have their phases, I guess. Oop. Sorry, Bingo. Or, uh, Shuby. Like, she has her feathers at the black parts. Ouch! You jerk! That hurt! Don't pick my toes! Uh, but anyway, like, on her, the black parts of her feathers have a slight bit of iridescence. This is the jerk that comes in my house right there. Annabelle. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Sorry, girl. I have their S-N-A-C-K bag over there. If I say, even say the word, they know what I'm saying. I'm not going to give them any while there's four girls in the boxes, but... Man, I love it. Like tripping over chickens. Some of them are really affectionate. Other ones are really not affectionate. I mean, and this is the one I think is a boy because those three are always together. They have a pecking order and this one's kind of, wait, no, it's not this one. Yeah, it is because that's the reddest. Those three have pink crest and this one right here is suddenly turning red and there's like little nodes on the backs of their feet. I don't know if you can see it on Bluey. Will you sit still for a second? 